goes towards the prize pool, but we do not take any requests through that. <laughs> so lightning, uh, we don't actually have two different symbols to show protect versus song choice. So uh, my theory, which looks like it's correct, is that Grady was first to act and he protected black magic and then uh, possibly Jelly Slosh redrew the rest and then Grady decided uh, Blood Rush was better in this instance. All right. First Blood Rush of the tournament, I believe. Can both players make it past the slowdown is the question. Yes, Jelly Slosh self-admittedly very bad at any slowdown. Yes. I, I can try to explain it to you, Lightning, uh, in a minute. Let us uh, focus on these two beasts right here. I promise it makes sense. Yeah, it's two different notations that look exactly the same. Yes. Here's the uh, Scoobies, Scooby section. Uh, another Imruns. Step Maniac's classic staircase. Ooh, ooh yep, oh, yep. Jelly. He just gave up. Gave up. Yeah, he's, he's like, I can't this do this. The other, hard. the other player does not have to finish the song if one player As long uh, as you end up off. with a higher score, you win. I period. imagine Jelly decided that he would rather keep his like, stamina I'm just gonna, I'm just and gonna his save energy. energy. <laughs> yes. There's no point to continue with that. Yeah. Uh, Personally, like, I would have chosen to just try to mash and hope that you can keep your life bar up because you never really know what the other player is going to do. That's true. In a tournament setting, it's really just to um, your benefit to try not to fail out. Yeah, but Jelly Slush is self-described notoriously bad at slowdown. Um, he absolutely uh, hates the Kenari book. So. <laughs> All right, so Jelly Slosh choosing Contrast. Contrast, but interesting choice. Which um, I, was this one in Rerave? Yes, I think yes. So. Uh, we looked at it earlier today because yes. there is a Rerave machine here at uh, Red Note. It's interesting, I, I played it for the first time yesterday and going through the song list, it's like basically the Step Maniac song list, just much smaller. Uh, there are a few songs that uh, aren't on or that are on free rave that didn't get brought over to Step Maniacs. Uh, but most of them, I'm like, you know what, that's fine. Uh, I think Lightning would really like uh, London Bridge remix to make a, make a comeback. Yeah, a few from the game launch had a lot of revivals from free rave. Yes, where is it, Kyle? <laughs> Jelly Slash doing a, doing a good job. I think Daba Doo is on there. Dabby People Dabby have been Doo. no Daba Doo. Is that a different Daba song? Daba Doo. If I need to correct me. Nah, it's different. It's a different song than Dabby Doo. Dabby Doo. Yes. So you got Dabby Doo and Daba Doo. Do they have Dabby Doo? This is fairly close. Jelly here with the lead. It's super close. Super duper close. Um, this is a, like a rhythmically complex section coming up here. Yeah, it's pretty much just one rhythm, but it's yeah, it's, it's a rough one. And Jelly close. Jelly taking it. it. About a hundred points close. ahead. Let's go. Super duper close. That is an insane score. So now it comes down to Black Magic. Grady did protect this uh, before Jelly re-rolled. He doesn't have to play it though. He can choose any of the other ones. No, third <laughs> no, song no. Is no, the third song is the song. leftmost. Oh, true, true, true. So thank you. So by him protecting it, uh, it guaranteed basically that it would be played uh, in the case of a song three. Either way, even if the reroll yeah, happened. Yeah, because the protect so. moves it all the way to the left, right? No, it doesn't. It no. just he just it just happened to be oh, on okay. the left, and he chose to protect that. That's one of those other, you know, more strategy that is uh, specific to this tournament that we don't get to see in other tournaments. So. This one has so many crossovers. Yes. That is why I have not bothered trying to upscore it in the past two years or so. Because I'm like, you know what? I'll just not. I'll just not play that song. <laughs> Um, J 
Jelly Slosh is one of the loudest players uh, that I'm aware of. Uh, Grady is also a very heavy hard stomper. When I so played with him the other night, or last week. So I think I there, you can hear their, uh, you can hear their set being played from across the room. This is definitely going to be an interesting match. The Scoobies and crossovers in the runs at the end are very difficult. Oh yeah. You have it is, to remember to start oh, yes. the last one on the left foot. Or yeah, else. It's not over until that happens. Oh, he om Grady almost dropped that hold one. Yeah, these yeah. Scoobies get to where you need to start them in the crossover position in, on some instances. We'll see if... Uh, Jelly with that? the miss. Still got the lead. Keep it that early. Oh, and the more earlies on the Scoobies might cost them. Yeah, those are so hard to remember exactly what position to start in. I, like, I figured it out, but like every time I play it, my brain just forgets everything. <laughs> yep, oh, Mark takes it. Close match. Super duper close. Jelly had it for most of the whole chart. Yep, he had it in that, that one Scooby crossover stream.